Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to troubleshoot one scenario. We are going to troubleshoot one ticket. So here you can see ticket is issue is branch one and two are able to communicate with headquarter. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is my router one. My router one is hub router. So this is my headquarter. This is a spoke one. You can say this is your branch one and this is a spoke two router branch two router right so this is branch one this is branch two and this is headquarters suppose this headquarter is in us this is in the you know bangalore and this is in suppose delhi right so we have one headquarter and two branch office so problem is all branches branch one and two are able to communicate with headquarter but branches are not able to communicate with each other okay so here you can see in a spoke one i have created one loopback on this loopback i am running this lan 20.1.1.0/24 on branch 2 i am running a loopback that is nothing but your lan that is 30.1.1.0/24 and on hub router this is your lan 10.1.1.0/24 means user from this network are able to communicate with this user and user from this network is also able to communicate with this user but guys the user from this network is not able to communicate with user of this network so actually my problem over here is branches are not able to communicate with each other that means suppose here i am running what ip 20.1.1.1 and here i am running ip 30.1.1.1 so 20.1 is not able to ping 30.1 first of all let me verify that branches are not able to communicate so let me take you on router number one first and let me ping my branch one that is 20.1.1.1 yes i am able to ping and guys my public ip address is here i am running between branches i am running what network 192.168.10.0 so you know between branches you can consider it as isp here i am using one switch only for connectivity and i am using this network here i am running ip 10.1 here i am running ip 10.2 here i am running 10.3 but in real scenario you will have connectivity between all branches through isp and it is responsibility of isp to make you know connectivity possible from here to here and from here to here yes or here to here also okay guys so here i am running what network 192.168.10.0 okay so see from my hub router from router one i am able to ping branch one user yes or no i am going to ping branch two or two user now 30.1.1.1 so see i am able to ping branch two also now let me check from branch one am i able to ping branch two or not here ping 30.1.1.1 oh really i am not able to ping yes so yes guys really problem is here so now we need to troubleshoot it so what is problem here branches are not able to communicate with each other okay so first of all i need to check routing table of this router because inside the routing table of router 2 this network should be there yes or no then only it will forward traffic so in the routing table maybe this route is not available so let me check routing table so ip route so guys see there is no any default route gateway of last resort is not set and there is no any route for 30.1.1.0 network in the routing table of router 2 now let me take you on router number 3 on branch 2 here also let me check routing table so ip route okay here also you can see 20 network is not available and default gateway is also not there okay so if i will configure default route right then also it will not work because for connectivity between branches i am running what eigrp here you can see d symbol right because this router is getting 10 what dot 1 dot 1 dot 0 prefix this is running on hub branch through what eigrp so that means for connectivity guys in real time you know on tunnel interface you will configure what eigrp yes or no but here I have configured EIGRP on physical interface exactly. So I am running EIGRP protocol for connectivity. So let me check configuration of all router. So router number one. Here if you want to check EIGRP configuration guys, what command you can run? So IP protocol first to check which protocol is running there. 
सो डेफिनेटली ईएजीआरपी आर इज रनिंग ओवर हियर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल इज ईएजीआरपी ओके नाउ हाउ मेनी कमांड इंजीनियर हैव रन इन ईएजीआरपी सो सो रन एंड सेक्शन ईएजीआरपी ओके सो लेट मी चेक द ईएजीआरपी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन राउटर ईएजीआरपी 10 आफ्टर दैट नेटवर्क 10.1.1.0 इज फाइन and network 192.168.10.0 is also fine after that here neighbor so that means here we have configured a static neighborship between hub and branch yes so neighbor 192.168.10.2 this is router 2 and this neighbor is on f0 slash 0 there is one more neighbor 192.168.10.0 which is available on f0 slash 0 interface so both neighbor are available on f0 slash 0 interface so that means we have configured what guys a static EIGRP a static neighborship between hub branch and a spoke hub and a spoke now let me check EIGRP configuration on router number 2 so IP sorry so run section you know why I am not checking routing protocol over here because in the routing table of this router you are able to see 10 prefix right through EIGRP so that means we are running EIGRP here directly I am going to check the EIGRP configuration so run section EIGRP so here router EIGRP network this one on network this one exactly fine after that neighbor 192.160.10.1 on f0 slash 0 okay so that means this is not full mesh topology guys here you can see on router number 2 i have run only one neighbor command right that means eigrp neighborship is between hub and spoke 1 and hub and spoke 2 there is no any eigrp neighborship between branch and branch yes or no yes so actually this is not full mesh topology this is hub and spoke topology right that means all spoke branch will share their database to hub router and whenever they need to communicate with each other they will communicate directly through isp but they will say exchange their database to hub branch right means this router number 2 is not going to send any update message to router number 3 because there is no any EIGRP neighborship. Done. Let me check configuration on router number 3. So IP, sorry. So run section EIGRP. Here also I think I have configured. Yes. Neighbor 192.160.10.1 on F0 slash 0. So that means there are one neighbor of router 2 there are one neighbor of router 3 and there are two neighbor of router 1 okay so guys actually problem is you know why on router number 1 you can check routing table so ip root eigrp so both network is available 20 also and 30 also yes so what is happening actually here see there is one eigrp neighborship there is one EIGRP neighborship. Yes or no? Yes. So when this router will generate a update message, inside the update message, what will be the network information? 20.1.1.0 slash 24. Yes or no? Wait, guys. Okay. After that, in the update message, it will send, you know, delay and bandwidth. After that, it will send to their neighbor. Who is neighbor of router 2? Router 1 right this update message will be received by router 1 on which interface guys on f0 slash 0 interface and by default a split horizon is enabled on all interface yes or no so what is a split horizon neighbor send the same update from that interface where you have received that update so actually the update message which router 2 is sending to their neighbor to router 1 that update message router 1 is receiving on f0 slash 0 so it will not send same update message from this interface because second neighbor neighborship with router 1 and router 3 is also on f0 slash 0 so this update message will be not sent by router 1 to router number 3 in the same way when router 3 will send the update message of this network 
router will receive it on f0 slash 0 and it will not send same update message from the receiving interface right so this is the reason why router 2 is not receiving this network and router 2 is not receiving 20 network okay this is the reason why router 3 is not receiving 20 network and router 2 is not receiving 30 network so what we need to do over here we need to disable a split horizon over here so that router 1 will send update message of router 2 to router 3 and update message of router 3 to router 2 now due to a split horizon router 1 is not sending update message of router 2 to router 3 and router 3 to router 2 if you will disable a split horizon router 2 will start sending update message of router 2 to router 3 and router 3 to router 2 okay so let me disable a split horizon on router number 1 so now you can see in the routing table of router so ip root 30 network is not available yes in the same way on router number 3 20 network is not available so let me take you on router number 1 guys and config t interface f0 slash 0 ip split horizon for eigr ps number 10 by default this command is running let me disable it let me say no over here right now guys if you will check so so see eigrp never see will resynchronize and now if you will check the routing table of router 2 see here so ip root eigrp now 30 network is available yes or no on router number 3 also you can verify it enable so ip root eigrp 20 network is available got it guys now if i will ping from router 2 to router 3 ping 30.1.1.1 and source is 20.1.1.1 see now it's working okay so issue is now fixed guys still there is some problem what is problem now problem is see here the routing table of router 2 so ip root eigrp yes 30 network is available but next stop ip address is what 192.168.10.1 that means branches are able to communicate with each other via hub router via hub router whenever user from this network will send traffic to this user right it will send traffic to hub router and hub router will be responsible to send it to router number 3 yes or no so still this is problem because what I want in real time you will you know exchange database of branch office to hub office but whenever user from branch office want to communicate with user of another branch office they should communicate directly through ISP right because otherwise you can imagine the load on hub router yes or no every time whenever user from here send traffic to here right hub router will be receive traffic it will perform encapsulation decapsulation again and again maybe CPU utilization of your hub router can be high so my requirement is this these two branch office should be able to communicate with each other through ISP directly so when it will communicate directly when router 2 will receive 30 network with next stop IP address what next stop IP address 192.168.10.3 yes or no so now what is happening here see now when this router is generating update message what will be the source IP address IP address of exit interface yes or no destination IP address will be multicast or in a static neighborship it will be unicast it will forward update message to router 2 when router 2 will send this update message to router 3 it will update the next top IP address yes or no IP address source IP address will become the IP address of this interface exit interface 10.1 actually by default next hop self command is running on all interface so here if I will disable next hop self then it is router 1 will not update their exit interface IP address with update and router 3 will install this network 30 network in the routing table with exit interface with next hop IP address 10.1.1.10.192.168.10.3 so let me do that also on interface f0 slash 0 and by default ip next stop self command is running so let me know over here as well say no 
and now if you will check okay no for eigrp 10 and now if you will check routing table of router 2 see guys again neighborship will resynchronize and so ip root eigrp and now you can see 130.0.0. 030.1.1.0 is reachable via 192.168.10.3 so it will forward traffic to ISP and ISP will directly forward to router number 3 now while communicating while communication between branches right there is no any role of hub router so hub router is responsible to exchange database between branches and headquarter and branch office are able to communicate with each other directly through ISP okay guys so this was you know a small troubleshooting if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel guys we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe maybe in next video we will discuss another scenario thank you guys thanks for watching